bit and I'll, I'll see what he's written to me because he seems to be taking a long time. I can't have a go at him. Like, I'm dyslexic. You've seen me when I tried to write wall and I spelt it W-H-O-O-L and I was, I was actually really embarrassed about that. I actually uh, didn't include it when I did the highlights video. Right, actually, while I'm here, I do my, my quick shout-outs. I realised that the last video I actually missed, the last video I was doing shout-outs, I missed this area here. So if you thought you weren't in it and you're one of these people, that's why. Um, you see, I got Conrad Chaos, uh, Toolchief, another Halo commentator you might know. It's Luckful, um, uh, Vong Subs, Vong Subs? That would do. And uh, Jessica47, or... Yeah, Jessica47, yeah. There we go, look, I, I read them all correctly, I believe. Uh, also, over this side... Uh, we got R4MOT3, Ramotti, Remote, 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 yeah, Remote. Uh, the bare minimum, uh, very long time subscriber, comments all a lot, so big shout out to him. He's also started doing commentaries himself if you want to check him out. Uh, Hickster may be someone who I've played with, i got a 1v1 game coming up against him soon. And Melanie Candy, who is my girlfriend, who I've only just added to my garden, despite the fact she's been nagging me for ages to add uh, her. Um, basically what I said to her is that everyone else has got a comment to get inside the garden so do you and the reason I said that to her because I wanted to force her to make a YouTube account because even in 2012 she still didn't have a YouTube account and so I forced her to make one just so she could be in my love garden and hello and also over here we got hit the target who is a loser and the reason that sign's there is because I was uh, AFK for a bit I went and got a drink or something and I was just standing here so we added a sign next to me saying loser. So I put his sign next to it there. So yeah, I'm going to quickly show you. In oh, he's tried, he's tried doing it again. Yeah, it doesn't really work when I move. I'll just try and get him to stand next to it. No, no, he's being good. He's cleaning up after himself. So yeah, you can see I've added a bit of a walkway here and a little bit of a cobblestone path. And that is what my finished mob trap exterior looks like. See that I've added some obsidian along the bottom of it. Set it all on fire, got my lava working correctly and properly. And I'll show you inside briefly to show you what I've added. You see you've got a lava roof there. So you come in here, oh you see it's working. I've gathered a few feathers and gunpowder while I've been talking. So this is what the room looks like in here. It's pretty standard. Uh, the reason why these bits are here and it looks a bit weird is because I'm actually covering up some redstone wiring. Because if I stand on here, uh, you might be able to hear, it might be a bit too quiet, but it actually plays a dong. Which is basically like an alarm system to let me know that I've got some goodies. And I've got some uh, chests here, which you kind of saw me start to add, basically, so that if i got a load of crap, I don't have to keep making trips uh, back and forth from, like, my store area. So I'm just going to get rid of these feathers quick. Where are feathers? Here? Bones. Feathers there. Yeah, just so I don't have to keep making trips. And I'll quickly show you behind here. You see that I got my very fitting sign of a skeleton. That's what I'm after, because I'm after bones for my dogs. Oh, no! I just got rid of it! Oh, no, the, if you don't know how to get, like, the picture you want, you kind of just got to do trial and error. You've got to keep placing it. I think it's whatever, wherever you place it, that is, like, the bottom left. Oh, no, I think they've updated it. Oh, right, okay. I'm just going to leave it as that now. It's a bit nice and prettier now, but, yeah, I accidentally got rid of that. Um, and you can also come up here so you can sort of see all the workings and the mechanisms behind it if you're that way inclined. Uh, but anyway, you saw most of this last video. I'm just going to quickly show you my alarm system. So as I said, basically, whoa, things drop down here. And when they're pushing down the pressure plates, it makes some dongs play. And it's it's really simple redstone. It's just, there's two trails here. So this lights up and all these repeaters basically delay it. So it doesn't ding too often. And it leads to two music boxes. It leads to one which is uh, here, which is kind of just under the entrance to this room. And another one which is over this way, which is slightly mm. under my love garden, that area. So if I'm in my love garden, I hear a dong, I know that I've got some goodies waiting for me. And actually quite a lot play on a peaceful mode, so uh, the dinging doesn't get too annoying like you think it might do. <laughs> but yeah, also it's the same on the other side as well, going to another two boxes. And, oh, okay, right. Let me just Let me just tidy up here. I could leave it and think I'll sort it out after this video, but... It's just going to annoy me too much. <laughs> Anyone who ever just walks in here is just going to fall down a pit. Right, let me just gather up my stuff. And now I'm going to head up to the top of the tower. I'm not actually going to take a dog with me, uh, simply because I feel like if I go up there with a dog, the chances... Oh, oh my God, once... is, that, is that my dog? What's going on here? Are these my dogs? Or has he got his own dogs? Has he found his... They're not my dogs. He's been stealing my dogs. <gasps> I knew I couldn't trust him. Look at his shifty eyes. He comes in here. Who's that? Who's that? No, these are new dogs. 
He's got his own. He's got his own little couple dogs. So he's, he's making himself at home, isn't he? Planting signs, getting some mongrels. Yeah, welcome to Stampy's lovely home. Why don't you take over the place? You can also see here I've replaced this these uh, dirt blocks with some glass. Um, basically, I just placed dirt there to um, mark where the glass will be, but I've actually added it now. And I've finished my room. I don't know if I showed you this. I think I did actually in my last video, but yeah, my room's done. I do believe I showed you that. Yeah, and I got the room of no requirement up there. And um, yeah, so let's go show you upstairs. Sorry, I realise I've blabbered on for so long this video. I haven't even started building what I intended to build here. So you see, I've basically just got one big tower up here, um, just wooden planks with some torches to keep it all nicely lit up and you see craig's here hard at work hard at work working hard standing still <laughs> so you kind of get an idea of what i'm doing uh if you don't know how this is done this is basically just using steps you see like that's sorry that's there like one step block one step block and you can kind of make a bit of a patchwork pattern although these don't actually let light in so you do need torches as well so i'm gonna have a door here on either side as you can see and um on this side i'm gonna have a ladder going up here which is going to lead uh, to the roof and what I'm going to have on the roof is a um, like a fountain so I'm going to have a water fountain in the middle at the top there and the water is going to trail down this side and trickle down into there so it's kind of going to be like water spawns at the top goes across drops down to there goes across then drops down to the very bottom of the lake so I think it's going to be quite a cool like looking stream of water and along the, out here you can see I've started building it out of sandstone I'm going to have a balcony all the way across and I'm going to start doing that now actually oh I realised what I forgot to do I forgot to look at that sign I'm so curious I think he's got rid of it <laughs> I think he's got rid of it I can't see it I think he spent so long writing it then he just sort of walked away he just sort of like oh fuck it I'll get rid of it then <laughs> yeah I'm sorry he hit the target is he all the way over there is that him that is him what's he doing over there he did that earlier actually I was just sort of talking to him, and I turned around, and he just like wandered all the way over there. I think he's, I think he's got a little stash of dogs down there, and he's hiding them from me. He's getting, oh, <laughs> that would be sand, not sandstone. <laughs> he's got a little secret stash of. Yes, look, I see it climbing the tree. I think he's trying to build a dog army to try and battle me. I need to keep a very close eye on him. I do not trust him at all. <laughs> oh God, I can't build either. Right, yeah, so I'm just going to have just three blocks out all the way around here. Then I'm going to have a, a fence around the outside. And, yeah, for these bits, it's going to be four blocks out. So one, two, three, four. There we go. So I kind of, what I've done, I know I've built a reasonable, like, considerable amount without you being able to see it. But I found that if, like, if I built everything in these videos, it would probably get a bit boring. Like, I found that. Because when you start building something, there's a lot of thinking and working out dimensions and stuff. So you'd see a lot of videos of me going, um, um, like this, no, like this. So I find that if I kind of start building or build one side, then just build the other side in the video. Uh, hopefully I won't look as bad. <laughs> Basically, the whole time I was trying to build this, I was just building a block and going, Craig, is this OK? Is this all right? And then, all right, I'm going to give. I oh, know I've got a load of sand instead of sandstone with me. Um, I think Craig's going to go get some stand sandstone and help me out. Craig, Craig, look. No. Nope. There we go. <laughs> let's, let's hope Craig takes the hint. Oh, it's getting dark already. I haven't even done anything yet. Here we go. I've got some more sandstone here, though. Actually, it doesn't actually matter if it gets dark. I should be quite all right building up here because no googlies can get me here. So I'm going to place some torches anyway, just in case. But I think I'm going to be safe and dandy in terms of googlies because I think I'm high up enough that I'll be all right. So yeah, Craig's going to just be carrying on building where I was on that side. Um, yes, yeah, so as I said in one of the videos the other day, I went to try and get Ank to help me and I just threw a load of cobblestone at him hoping he would carry on building the roof that I was building and then he just started throwing snowballs around. So um, I gave Craig a prep talk before this video so he'd hopefully help me out. I think hit the target's going to go to bed but I don't think he realised that I decided to stay awake. Once again... He chooses to bunk with Craig. Ank chose to bunk with Craig. Like, hit the target chose to bunk with Craig. What's wrong with me? Why does no one have sleepovers with me? Is it is it is it the smell? Do I have bad BO? I mean, I do, but when you could put up with it, you're gonna be asleep anyway. <laughs> right, this needs to be one more out. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I think okay, I think everyone else is gonna bed. I might as well join them. Right. This is the elegant way to get down. Uh oh. Whoa, maybe not quite so elegant. That hurt me a lot more than I thought it would. 
Right, okay, stay put, guys, stay put. Oh, he's in my bed. Has he gone into my bed? Right. I, I'm used to playing on peaceful mode, and yeah, normally jumping off there I'm absolutely fine, but apparently it's not so good on non-peaceful mode. I think I might need a few pork chops. Is he sleeping in my bed? <laughs> no, he's just adding a sign on top of it. <laughs> Take, take your time, don't worry. It's not as if we're all waiting for you. Right, while I'm waiting, I'm going to eat up some of my pork chops. Did he get rid of that sign here? He did get rid of that sign here. All he's doing is going and placing signs, spending five years writing them, and then nothing else happens. Right. Oh, where's the bed gone? Oh, he's holding the other bed. Right, if I go to bed, hopefully he'll get the hint. <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny sight to see on game. That's kind of menacing. Just lying in bed and just seeing a man in a tuxedo standing there at the end of the bed, just like watching you. <laughs> there we go. I got, I got a, a treat for the morning. I can wake up and read whatever that sign says. <laughs> right, is everyone else going to bed? Why does it go blue? There we go. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, he's a funny one, isn't he? He's a funny one, aren't you? He's like, get back, I've got a bone. Which is like the beginning of um, uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. That was a bit of a random reference there, wasn't it? Right, I'm, I think I might actually, instead of carrying on with the balcony, because I think Craig should be okay getting to work on that, I'm going to start building the roof in here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? Oh, sorry, I'm being very undecisive. Is I'm going to make some more uh, stairs... Make some more wooden planks, then some more stairs. And I'm going to start, I'm going to show you how you build this, just in case you didn't know. So, basically, the way to place it, you've got to think about is if you're going to go up it. So, like, if you imagine if I'm going to go up the stairs, it would be like that. So, that's the way to work out the right way around. And yeah, so you basically just place it down like this, and you can make kind of cool patterns. You can make it like kind of continuous how like I haven't done, I've had it so there's a block in the middle. That's because you can't place um, ladders or torches on them. So I've had had that block there just so I can um, place stuff against it. And that is that is all there is to it. And I think it's a really cool effect. But as I did say earlier, i um, going to be careful because you can't actually... Um, uh, it doesn't actually let light in. So make sure that if you have got a place like this, you are prepared to have a bunch of torches and stuff as well. Oh dear, I've done that wrong. All right, that's why you always got to have an axe handy. Don't fall, don't fall. Got it. Yeah. The amount of wood I've wasted where I've been like deleting stuff and it just falls down. I can't be bothered to go down and pick it up. <laughs> and I had the... Look at that. I said in one of my past videos that you never have just the right amount of something. You always just got one not enough. And there, I had the absolute perfect amount. And yeah, I'm just going to add a... I'm going to have a sandstone roof, I've decided. Just to keep the whole sandstone and wood thing. Oh, no. And Craig's there being good and working away. He He's a trooper. He's actually been good. He's, he's helped me for a lot of my videos and that. And like, he's as new to Minecraft as I am. Like, I, I've only started playing on the Xbox version. So, I mean, I've only been playing Minecraft for a few months. It's been out for. And it's kind of difficult because a Let's Play of any other game, you generally do it as the game comes out. So even if you are a noob, it's okay because sort of everyone's a noob. <laughs> but the problem with Minecraft is there's been people who like, have been playing it in beta form for years, so all this stuff I'm discovering and learning about, like most people have known about for absolutely ages, so that's why I'm trying to avoid trying to give too many tips, because I don't want to be giving tips to people that like have been playing it for ages, and they're going to be like, yeah, well, duh, I've known that for ages. So... <laughs> I couldn't really give many tips anyway, but seeing as how bad I am in all my videos. Have I run out of sandstone already? It's just sand in there, isn't there? Right, I'm going to be good. I'm going to actually go down the ladder this time instead of plunging to my death. Well, plunging into a lot of pain anyway. I didn't actually die. Yeah, I'm just going to go restock on a whole load of sandstone. I really want to, I really want to um, start building the fountain on the top because I think that's going to be the, the most interesting part. I'm going to get a whole load of sandstone because I think that... Craig's probably going to want to resupply them as well. I'll be a good host and keep him supplied. <laughs> I should also have some videos coming out soon featuring other people's worlds. I've mentioned it in my maze video, and I'm sure I've probably done another video talking about it. So yeah, it'd be... Oh, what? <laughs> oh, hardy, hardy, ha. 
I said in my last video, sometimes I regret having... <laughs> all right, all right. Um, Craig, I have you sandstone. Craig, Craig, stop, stop being a nuisance and get to work, all right? There we go. <laughs> I don't know if he realised that he picked it up, but he did pick it up. Uh, the, the reason I've built it at this height, by the way, and not slightly higher, is because I didn't want it to, like, the clouds to be going through it. And if I build it much higher, then the clouds would be going through. And every now and then when you're walking around, everything would just be completely white and faded and look a bit rubbish. So I don't know if it had wood along the top on that bit there. I'm not sure. I'm going to see what progress Craig has made. I bet he's done about half of it and given up. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> well, he's, he's done a start all the way around the outside. So he has been helpful. Maybe he ran out of sandstone. You can get quite a good view of my thingy there. It looks quite cool from far away. I think it's just a little bit too detailed. It's kind of a bit too much to take in. You don't really know where to look. I'm not sure where Hit the Target's gone to as well. I'm probably going to go there and I'm going to see a field full of signs with just loser written everywhere. <laughs> I think I might actually leave that the sign he placed above my bed with the loser. I think that's kind of funny. I've actually got signs above my actual bed. It says, like, Joe, which is my actual name, if you didn't know, and an arrow pointing down, just so I know when to sleep in case I get confused. One of my friends actually put that in. Yeah, it says, see, look, Craig's, Craig's being useful. I think he's the same as me. He's got a very short attention span. Like, I started building the balcony, then I gave up and started building the roof. Right, if he's building the roof, I'm going to go back and carry on on the balcony. I might add, um, add some uh, fences along while I'm here. You always want to make sure when placing fences, uh, like, you always want it kind of one block more than you want, simply because, like, it takes up an entire block having the fence. So if you just have, like, here, then fence, it will seem really claustrophobic, so that's why it's it's quite wide all the way around. And if you think I've been stupid, by the way, having the this not in the middle of the room, it's because this is, like, exactly over the middle of the building. It's all kind of a little bit off, which is a little bit annoying, but it's all right. Uh, is this right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, so see what I mean? It kind of it makes the whole area like a little bit small. Oh, that's really awkward to walk through, actually. <laughs> it's like you bang your whole way across. I'm going to have to make this a whole bit wider. I hate like getting rid of stairs and like uh, fences and stuff because it takes so long. I was also thinking of having... um like a few poles as well holding up the roof but I don't think I'm going to have a roof over this area actually so I don't actually need to do that yes yeah, so I'm going to extend out this whole entire area on this side bit just to give you enough room to walk around right okay so I want to add a sign uh, add sandstone there, there 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 and there so how many outs that's one two three four five out all the way along there's a random bit sticking out there yeah, so then, as I said, I'm going to have the fountain at the top, which is going to be like a roof going over there and then just dropping down into that bit there. Right, let's see if this is actually enough room. Yeah, there we go. That, that That's okay. I mean, it could be a little bit wider, but that's all right as it is. I think this place is looking all right. Is it looking okay? Do you like it? I think it's quite a pretty view. And another reason not to have it any higher is because cause the draw, din uh, draw distance isn't that good in Minecraft, like... You can kind of see the exact boundary. You see, like, along there and there, that line. That is, like, the limit of what you can see. And so, obviously, that the higher up you go, like, the more prominent that limit is, like, like the closer the things you have to see. So having it a bit lower means I can actually see further, if that actually makes any sense. I mean, that is one of the things I find most annoying about Minecraft is just, like, just how slow things can load in. The fact it hasn't got a very good draw distance. Like, I mean, a lot of people say that Skyrim plays better on their computer than Minecraft does, which is crazy. <laughs> like, you'd think that they'd have a really effective way to do it, so... Like, like this, it just seems very badly optimised. And I know, obviously, playing on the Xbox 360, you kind of expect that, but even on a really powerful PC, it doesn't, like, really matter how good your PC is, it just can never really run it that well. And that's... I think that's the one big problem with Minecraft. I think it's an, an amazing game. I absolutely love it. I mean... I've pretty much been addicted to it recently, but I think that's the biggest problem. Right, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So yeah, this is just going to carry on the whole way around. I think I'm going to just build this side of it, and then I'm going to move up top and start 
uh, trying to build that water fountain. Actually, I don't, I don't think I'm going to have time, to be honest. I, I always run out of time. I always kind of, I always plan everything that I'm going to do in my videos before I do it. And I know it wasn't much in this video, but I always kind of underest, uh, over, yeah, sorry, underestimate how long everything's going to take. Basically, I, I talk too much and <laughs> I end up always dragging over. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that one lone block there? That's where the stairs is. It's a little bit dangerous as it is. I can just imagine someone like, right, let's leave. Whoa, don't want to go down there. <laughs> What's Craig doing? Does Craig need more sandstone? I'll give him some more just in case. <laughs> He's seriously got a worse like attention span than me. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times that I just turn around, he'd just be standing there. He'd be like, he was actually eating a lolly early. I was like, like, Craig, are you there? Are you playing? He's like, yep, just, eat, just eating a lollipop. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Scared I'm doing this wrong. Wait, is this right? So one, two, three, four, five, and then here, one, two, three. I believe this is right. It may not be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, I've done it right. I'm getting better. Like... You can go back to watch my first videos now if you've got nothing better to do. And you see how bad I was then. I've improved. I mean, you'd expect I'd improve. It'd be weird if I hadn't, but I'm getting better. I'm also been like, I've been looking up a few like tip videos on Minecraft and stuff and learning more effective ways to do stuff. What is he doing? He's building something. <gasps> He's building. He didn't ask permission to build something in Stampy's lovely world. If I go over there and that's not entirely lovely, I'm going to be furious. One, two, one, two, three, four. This needs to be one more out, doesn't it? Five. Is that right? One, two, three, four. No, no, it should only be four. Yeah, I do believe I'm, I'm running out of time on this video, as always. But, I mean, I've, I've done some pretty good progress. Like, I think you can entirely understand what this is going to be now. Oh, oh Craig, Craig's done good progress on the roof as well, actually. Oh, look at him go. Look at him. He's a man on a mission. All right, let me just make a few more fences. I'm just, I always underestimate how many fences I'm going to need. I'm just going to make a whole load. It doesn't matter if I make too many either because... Oh, they need to just all be sticks. I thought you needed blocks as well. All right, I just need a load of sticks. Yes, yeah, so if I make too many, I'm sure I'll use them on something else. The thing that I really want is a gate. Don't you be trying to push me off. Are you right, Craig? Is he after more sandstone? Is that what he's after? Look at that. Oh, look at that. We're like in tune. We know exactly what we're thinking. <laughs> one. All right. I think I need to extend these out one more. One, two, three, four. That's right. One, two, three, four. Ah. All right, I think I need one more along all of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh dear, I'm doing this wrong. Oh, I'm getting really confused now as to what I did. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so that needs to be there. Two, three, four, five. There we go. This is right. Oh no, now I've run out. So I've given all my sandstone to Craig. I need more sandstone. Oh, I don't bring any more. All right, okay, I'm going to ignore that bit for now. I'm going to do what I can do up until there. I was too generous. I'm just, I'm just too generous. I just gave it all away. Didn't even think about myself and what I'd need. Okay, imagine. let's just imagine that it carries on along here. Also, I forgot. I'm going to add a diving board. I completely forgot about that. Hopefully Craig will see the missing block. Here, here. No, I had a block there. <laughs> is he gonna? Is he gonna get it? My psychic. No, I'm not. I'm not showing you something. I'm not saying look down. I'm saying look. Oh. oh. And that. <laughs> what a lucky place to spawn. <laughs> Just gonna get all my stuff. I think there's some sore stuff on the roof. And that. <laughs> This is why I normally play on a safety mode, on a <laughs> peaceful mode. Right, well, while I'm here, I can get more some more sandstone. I think the last, the last three videos that I've made, 
which have been in uh, not including the maze video, which doesn't really count. I've been murdered by someone. I've been murdered by Ank several times. Now Craig's just murdered me. I, I really need to learn to, to to not invite so many people into my world <laughs> making these videos. Right, let me just pop down there and get all my stuff as Craig murdered me. Well, actually, what, I'm, what I want to do, I want to go and look at... Oh, it's, it's not peaceful mode, is it? I'm so lackadaisical at wandering around at night. I forget how dangerous it is. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a nap, have a little bit of a sleep, and then in the morning I'm going to go investigate what here the target's been building in my world, and then uh, I'm going to... Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty much the end of it, and then I'm going to carry on building uh, in the future, and then in my next video I'm going to show you hopefully my tower almost completed, or if not completed, because i got a little bit more work to do. Basically, I'm just going <laughs> to... Good night, hit the target. Good night. <laughs> yeah, right, let me go into my loser slot. I've just been bullied. I've just This is just like bully in my Minecraft world. Oh, what's going on? Stop walking. Oh, oh, Craig's joining me. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, he's come to have a nap with me. Or maybe just hit the target with annoying him. And I was complaining earlier that no one wants to sleep with me. Maybe he was just trying to push me in the water. So now I've had a bit of a wash in the water. He'll, he'll sleep with me. Why didn't he want to sleep in his own room? What's in there? Oh. How curious. Right, I'm going to go... Right, don't just puke a bed at me. Right, I'm going to go and have a look at what he's been building. Are they going to join me? Then we're going to come hit the target. You're going to come. You're going to give me a tour of what you've built. Because he's been over there for a while. He was there before the video, and I was like, "What are you doing?" He was like, "Uh, just, just, just exploring. Why? Well, why? What do you think I'm doing?" I was like, "Nothing. What are you doing? No, nothing, nothing." So I'm scared he's going to be building that evil dog army. I'm going to have to fight them all off. I should have taken Barnaby or someone with me for the ride. Oh, I heard a spider then. It's gone. Right, where was it? Ah, here's the spider. Uh, uh. Sound like Peter Griffin then. <laughs> Peter Griffin. <laughs> he is, he's building a dog army. I knew it. I knew he was building a dog army. <laughs> like he's collecting up bones and arrows. He's going to feed them all up with bones. And then he's going to equip them with arrows and they're going to be evil dog bone arrows. I think, I think he's just realised that I've discovered he's building something. He's coming to have a look. You couldn't hide it from me. All right, what is he building here? Oh my god, oh he's building a mine shaft, I think. Is he building his own little mining operation? He's supplying the dogs. <laughs> he's got a little counter. Oh, that's quite a cool idea, actually. You could, like, oh, I need like a bar. That's inspired me to have like a... My own little bar in my house somewhere. Got his own little coal supply. He's got a little, little self-sufficient area down here. I think they're both coming to join me. I oh, know, just hit the target. He's got his chest for. Oh, has he been stealing all my stuff? There's no way he's mined all this. He's at least he's been coming. He's been going to my house. He's been raiding through my drawers, going through my privates, my private property. And he's been putting it in his pockets, his bottomless pockets, and taking it over here. He's been he stole a jack o' lantern. He stole my feathers, six of my favourite books. That's my my entire Harry Potter collection minus one. Sixty four iron ingots. He's a thief. He's a thief. <gasps> what shall I do? And I'm trapped in the middle of his lair. How am I going to get out? I go out this way. Well, that's a bit of a dead end, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of curious to when I finish this video to talk to him to kind of investigate what he has actually been doing down here. <laughs> He's built his own little dog kennel. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's imprisoned me in. He's trapped me inside. I'm going to die in here. All I've got is my my, my one my one pork chop, which I'm just going to have to eat. That's going to have to last me for months. Anyway, so as I said, in my next video, I'm going to finish building my tower, but I've realised for the first time in one of my videos, I've actually beat half an hour. A half an hour long video so if you have watched this video for this length of time i applaud you i thank you and um so yeah i have my next video up ever so shortly so thanks for watching and i will see you later goodbye